The Super Soco TC, electric cafe racer. This thing, well, it looks a business, but is it a business and is it worth your coin? First up, just want to say a big thanks to Simon for giving me the chance to do this first impressions video of the Super Soco TC, a cafe style motorbike that isn't propelled by petrol but by electrons. To look at, you wouldn't know that this is an electric motorbike, what with its classic 1960s shape found more commonly in Triumphs with its prominent tank and low slung bars. That through to the flat bench seat which is surprisingly comfy and able to carry two passengers. At my height of 170cm, the seat height's great, but I think the taller riders may find it a little bit on the short side. Taking a 360 tour, at the front you've got upside down suspension forks coupled to a 17 inch wheel, and dual piston 40mm disc brakes. A very futuristic LED headlight sits high and proud on the front, which automatically adapts to light conditions with thanks to some photo sensors, meaning that it seamlessly goes from daytime running lights to low beam to high beam automatically. The turn signals flank the main light, giving an impression of a guy with a, well, super cool moustache. Across the handlebars, you've got all the usual switch gear and twist throttle. I'll talk about battery and range shortly, but over on this side, you've got a mode selector, which varies acceleration and top speed, and therefore the amount of range you get. I started with mode 1, which will give you up to 75 to 80 kilometers on one charge, but I found it to be a little too slow for my liking, so before too long, I flipped it to level 3. In doing so, range will drop on a single battery from around the 80 kilometer mark to about 45, but you can purchase a second battery and house it here in the mid body where a fuel tank would normally sit. And before I finish off the handlebar switch gear, you will note the big on off button which also works in conjunction with a remote on off switch that also has an alarm. So getting back to the bars, completing the right side you've got like a kill switch and headlight rocker and on the other side a horn, headlight high beam, low beam and indicator slider which unfortunately doesn't flick back to the middle with a central press rather you have to shift it back yourself meaning that you might inadvertently indicate in the opposite direction without meaning to. The wheel hub features a Bosch motor with a power rating of about 3000 watts and 150 newton meters of torque and well can get you up to about 50 kilometers per hour in an okay pace but with some tweaking you can in theory get this thing to a bit over 80 kilometers per hour unladen. The battery can be charged on the bike or if you like you can remove it and take it inside if let's say you live in an apartment and don't have ready access to a wall socket, the included wall adapter and charger can replenish about 80 km of range in 5 hours or if you can access a rapid charger, it will take about 20 minutes to get you roughly 30 km of range. The Super Soco TC. I reckon this bike is definitely should be on your shortlist if you're the sort of rider who actually just commutes around your local area, maybe does errands, picks up the kids from school, Whatever it might be, just remembering that the top speed in this thing is limited. The range, perfectly adequate. The acceleration, pretty good, if not a little jumpy off the mark. And look, over time you'll get used to that and you can learn to lead into it. I did kind of miss, because you know I, I do ride motorbikes, I missed having a foot pedal for the brake. But you may well recall that if you've ever done scooters, you normally have brakes on both hands anyway. The looks are awesome and it fits the bill. This seat, very comfortable, and look, you can easily dink something on here if you need to. If you're thinking about getting yourself an electric motorbike, check this one out because, well, compared to all the other brands that are out there, this is very well priced, competitive, affordable, and something that I think you'd enjoy. Mm -hmm.